So I lost a dog a couple months back and this dog was a really good friend to my dog Luna. So I figured it'd be a great idea to go online and try to find a dog very similar to her. Now me personally, I don't like to buy dogs being that there's dogs out there that need homes. I was curious. Let's jump online and see if there's any dogs available that happen to be golden doodles that may need a new home. I came across this ad of a beautiful golden doodle that was one years old. She needed a new home. They weren't asking anything for this dog. I was really serious about giving Daisy May a loving home. When I met Daisy for the first time, of course I brought Luna along and I wanted the owner to see that she was actually gonna go to a forever loving home and she was gonna be around another golden doodle just like her. Luna being an only dog, she wasn't really having it at first, but I think she warmed up to her after a little while. Now when I brought Daisy along and she finally made it in the car. I thought she was car sick. She started vomiting and it, it was bad. It was a good thing that I had a bag nearby. My cousin was in the front seat like dry heaving. It was a mess in the car, but it was okay. I, I thought maybe she was car sick. When I brought her home, I went ahead and fed her. I gave her some water. And that's when I started noticing that there was something much more serious wrong with her. She had this terrible cough. I'd never heard anything like that before and I was almost afraid to have Luna around her and I didn't waste any time. I called my vet early in the morning the next day and told them it was an emergency. They needed to see my dog and she gave me some pretty devastating news. I went ahead and brought Daisy May into the vet and she was a hit. Like everybody loved her. She loved everybody. When I put her on the scale, I was quite shocked. She only weighed 25 pounds and if you know anything about golden doodles especially being an adult golden doodle that is way too skinny so something is going on she is sick what i'm trying to impress on you here is that this whole area between the heart and the neck is way too wide something's really big in that area so this is what a normal should look like skinny little area inside the between the base of the heart and the neck and all of this is lung. Where the lung should be all the way up to here on each side, it's not. Normally, the esophagus doesn't droop down over where the trachea is like this. This is just really suspended all the way down there. Mega esophagus or mega esophagus. I've never heard of this before. I thought it was a joke at first when they were telling me, but when they started breaking it down and, and showing me pictures of a normal dog's esophagus versus uh, my Daisy's esophagus, it made sense why she was throwing up. I went ahead and called the previous owner and asked him, I was like, does she throw up? Is there something wrong with her? And they didn't really tell me. They told me that they limit her water intake and her food intake. And it was probably because of this reason. They thought maybe she was like overexerting herself, maybe playing a little too much. And that's why she was throwing up. And that does make perfect sense, but there was something way more serious going on here. And it was connected to why she was coughing up. And yes, it can be fatal if not treated right away, especially the pneumonia that comes from it. What are our options? Is this something that we can treat? Is there a surgery for this? She has to be fed in an upright position, like in a 90 degree angle. Like she has to, she has to be sitting up like this. And how in the world are you going to feed a golden doodle that has so much energy like that? One thing I learned about Daisy early on is she is a hungry dog, just like any golden doodle. I mean, most dogs, they just, they just like to eat. But I mean, Luna specifically, and of course, Daisy, like they like to eat. Somebody years ago developed this chair called a Bailey chair, and it almost looks like a high chair for dogs. I mean, the first thing I did was go on Amazon and see if I could find something like this. And of course I couldn't. So what are most people doing? They're making these chairs and I need to do something, I need to do something fast. So I started making this chair for my Daisy.
took me a couple days to put this chair together. The end result speaks for itself. It works great. She loves it after taking her to the vet. Great news. We're at the vet right now with Daisy. She's gained six pounds in literally like the last three or four days. And that's because we've been feeding her with our new chair that we built for Daisy. So this is great news. They're gonna evaluate her. I think it may be something that she has forever, but as long as she's gaining weight, she's happy and she's being fed, it's not really a problem for me. It's just a chair. So I, yeah, I, I think we'll be okay. Now the people that I got Daisy from, great people. I know they did their very best to care for Daisy. She smelled great. I think they just, they really needed to take her to the vet, but she wasn't in the best shape. She was lethargic. She was unhappy. She was covered in fleas. Oh my God, I remember picking fleas off of her. And I mean, of course, I after taking her to the vet, I couldn't give her flea medicine where she, you know, like some of the flea medicine that I give Luna, couldn't give her that because she'll throw it up. Oh, she's so much happier now, a completely different dog. Her and Luna play and play and play. Yeah, she has warmed up to her. A lot of you have been asking where I've been. Play, what are you doing? Releasing all the mosquitoes. Oh, all right, so tenants here at my house left me a ton of trash. I mean, it could be worse. Uh, this, this is actually pretty nice. I don't know what's in these boxes. We're gonna check here in a little bit, but I need to get rid of all this and put it in my trailer. I have never seen this before. So as I was going through this box here, because I have to throw it all away, I saw a big giant rat. Now it's hiding. Where'd it go? Did it escape? It's probably in here. No, don't say that. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> Ew. Look under that orange thing. This guy's a savage. There's rats in there. Ew. It might be inside there. What's What is this? Oh, look right there. Look, 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 look. <laughs> look. Dude, look, it's a little baby. You didn't hurt it, did you? Oh my goodness. You killed it. No, it's breathing. Oh, Is he scared? Yes, he's so scared. Oh, wait, right here. Right here. Be nice. Be nice. Be nice. Be nice. Oh, my gosh. Be nice. I've never seen, like, baby rats in the wild like that. Oh, oh they're so cute. Oh. Just found another one. Where'd he go? Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Come here. It's okay. We got three little baby rats. His brother and sister are fine, and one of them just escaped where are the other ones you put them in here yeah, they're in there. oh they're in there so we have two of them one of them got out so we had four total we found this guy i don't know if maybe he's just scared and playing dead or is he breathing yeah see look poor little thing look. see okay he is breathing i hope he's okay you know on 101 dalmatians when the one dalmatian didn't make it and he was like i wonder and he goes like this really hard so that's what i've been doing <laughs> and praying on him. Look at my hand. He moved? Okay, so he's getting better. <gasps> so he has a little bit more. Yeah. He already looks better. So you just need a little bit of love. Hi. Aw. You should name him Ratatouille. Ariana said I should give him some sugar water. And we actually have some stevia packets in the car with some water. So I'm going to give him some. Okay. And see if it works. Hmm. They left a lot of good stuff. So, uh. If you remember, this is where we were repairing the pool and we redid all the screening except one of them fell. Look, Ariana, talk to it. Oh, he's doing better. Here, put him with his brother and sister. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go. I'll let, thanks for helping. <laughs> See? Okay, wait, no, don't. Yeah, yeah, all right. It's, it's much better now. Is that him? Wow, I thought he was dead. I thought like... Maybe we accidentally stepped on him or something. All right, I think he was just in kind of shock. Oh, a rat was getting to that. Come okay. so. Oh, it's something for Christmas. Let me see. I'm scared to open these boxes. Might find a mama rat, maybe. 
that's what I mean. Yeah, this is all tenant garbage. I came here about a week ago because we just kicked these tenants. I mean, we didn't kick them out. We told them to leave. They weren't paying rent. And there was stuff everywhere. Like the garage was filled. There was so much stuff. What's that? It's a gold medal. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's gross. It's all wet. <laughs> what if we find some money? Oh, look at that giant roach. Oh, let's find some money. Oh, look at all these clothes. You know what's crazy is there's clothes in here that somebody probably paid a lot of money for. What's that? What's that? That's not a desire. Bruh, this is brand new. Hasn't even been used. West Marine life jacket? Bet. I'll take that. I feel like I'm dumpster diving. Whoa. I could give some of these to my dog. Look at that Snoopy, a Christmas Snoopy. No bugs in here. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's cool. Got some Christmas deco. This box is like sealed up. And cuchillo. More toys. Bubba's toys. Uno. Ooh, those are Hot Wheels. Yeah. No, 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 paquete. This might be worth some money. Yo me voy a comprar uno. Dang. What the hell? A bug in there. Christmas tree that comes equipped with roaches as decorations. What's that? <laughs> I think that's for roaches. La ropa. Hey, babe, you want some underwear? <laughs> no. Here. I'm good, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have one more box to open that we have not opened yet. What do you think is in there? At this point, I have no idea. Kitchen stuff. Maybe like towels. It's actually really cool stuff. Look at that, a buffet set. It's for you. Oh, thank you, bro. You're welcome. <laughs> Whoa, what is this? Isn't that like for cracking nuts or something? ¿Qué es eso, Blim? ¿Qué es esto? I don't know. ¿Para hacer café? No. I eso para hacer chatino. Chatino? Yeah, to put a plant in the... Oh, oh, this is for plantains. Totone. Totone. Yeah. Este es bueno. Is that like a noodle maker? No, that's oh, to make ground beef. Es para hacer picadillo. Oh. Uh, I don't know. Open it up. Looks like a bag of shit. I don't know what that is. They're so cute. And your little baby rat. Look at them. And that's the one that wasn't doing so well. That one's just sleeping right there. They're just all cuddly. Kind of feel like mama rat is somewhere underneath that house. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I feel conflicted. I feel bad. Huh? I heard something about rats. You heard something about rats. What'd you hear about rats? not the best here. Actually, so, he looks really good now. Okay, but I heard that sometimes the mama rats eat their babies. No, that's if they're little, little. These that's guys, little. No, these guys are like, they're like little teenagers. And, and he's hmm. tainted. Look, they're all like getting cozy and warm. Oh, the water fell off. Look at that. Aw, they actually oh like. Oh my gosh, they're so <laughs> cute. <laughs> they are really cute. Little Look at that. No, the mom's not going to eat them. They're like little sewer rats. Oh my God, they're so cute. They love the little holes. They do. <gasps> I do kind of feel bad if we take it away from its mom. You know, we what if... can't leave them in here. Aren't they nursing? Like, do you think they like suck milk from their mom? all that water that I put in there. They did drink water. Tiffany put some water in there. I don't know. What should we do? Should we take them to the Safe Haven Ranch? Should we possibly leave them here with their mom? Maybe their mom is underneath there. Maybe lay it sideways. Oh, be careful there. I just feel bad because they're so cute. They're so All right. Come on, guys. Because they have this whole house. Come on, guys. All right. One got out. Oh, it went out? Yeah, one got out. Come here. Come on, guys. Okay. okay there there you go. I thought there were mice at first. No, no, don't go that way. Don't bring too many animals. <laughs> then they'll eat them. It's for mama rat. Yeah, I think they're fine under there. Yeah, they're, they're safe under there. What'd you say? Big rat. Big one rat. More, one more big rat. One more big rat. Thank you, tenants, for leaving all this garbage for me to pick up, but it could have been a lot worse. I don't know what I would have done if I didn't have a trailer like this or a pickup truck. Um... I mean, I didn't put a lot here in the pickup truck, but 
Yeah, we have plenty back here. Look, they're using the tires. <laughs> what the heck? That was awesome. Look, 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 look. Oh my gosh, they're so happy. They love it. You guys like your tires? Yeah? That's so cool. That's a pretty girl. Hi, Lily. Hi, Lamar. What is going on here? Look, they're all three on them. This is great. <laughs> These are miniature goats. They're called Nigerian dwarf goats. And I think Thelma might be pregnant. Don't say that. It'd be so cool, though, to have some baby goats. Look at him bumping her. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> oh! <laughs> You're just loving this, aren't you? I am. I love it so much. I want to keep putting more in the ground for him. Well, we have all those over there. Dude, I got three more over there and I think four more under the tree. How you doing, baby? Hi. Thank you, baby. You guys are so jealous. You like Luna. Hi, baby. What you doing? It's your pretty piggy. It's your pretty piggy. Oh, guys. <laughs> Dang, that's how much we weigh? Look at that. Okay, I'm on the scales right now with all the junk that we got. We're at the landfill. Check it out, fam. We got mountains in Florida. Okay, just kidding. These are landfills. These landfill hills would make some great sledding hills. Yeah. I wonder if the trash guys see good stuff and they pull it aside. Hey, do you ever find anything cool in here? All the time. All the time? You take it home? Um, no, they don't allow us to. You These are brand new, slotted and drilled racing brakes. I have no idea what car they're for, but I mean, that that sucks. I feel bad for even throwing this away. This must have cost somebody, I don't know, several hundred dollars. I don't know what these go for. I bought them in the past, but inflation costs, I don't know. And this is why I can't ever look nice. And another reason why I don't wear like expensive shoes or waste my money on them, because you're gonna get them dirty anyways. Dang, I should have closed the windows. It's like super wow. dusty in here. Okay, let's talk about some things here. So I talked to one of the workers. I was curious, as you've seen in the video, I didn't try not to put him on film, but he was telling me, man, I see so much cool stuff. Just yesterday, the people over like that they rent kayaks close by, they brought in all their old kayaks and dumped them and they had to cut them in half. And these were perfectly working kayaks that I don't know why they didn't just like donate them or, I mean, here's the thing. There's some stuff we could have donated here, but we don't know the condition of it. We don't know if it has like bugs. bugs. I mean, you can see earlier in this video, there was bugs clearly crawling all over us. I'm not trying to infest somebody's house or the Salvation Army that has perfectly beautiful things with cockroaches. That would be, could you imagine? No. Maybe they have really good pest protection. I'm, I could imagine so, but still just don't want to take any chances. But he was telling me that Walmart dumps all their store returns here too and he said that they can't touch it by law brand new tvs brand new air rice fryers. cookers air fryers coffee makers i mean things that would piss you off if you saw in the trash that you got to go and drop a hundred couple hundred dollars for that you can get here for free and you're not allowed to leave with it like, you're not so allowed to leave with it come here and see something that we liked and we're like hey this is perfectly working and we try to take it with us apparently they'll stop however how would they know what we put in the back of our truck? They wouldn't know. Exactly. So, I mean, I guess if you can sneak something off, I mean. Let's go shopping. Go shopping, right? I would love to come back here when Walmart dumps their store returns. OMG. But, I mean, how would you know? You would have to know one of these workers, give them your number, be like, yo, call me. I just thought that was pretty interesting. But we got everything out. We weighed 9,200 pounds going in. Let's see what we weigh going out. All right, take a guess. Um, I'm gonna say- 8,000? Oh, shit. Okay, so we did 1,200 pounds. Guess how much that cost, fam? Four, oh, free! Okay, so 1,000 pounds, or it was 1,020 pounds. $33. That's not bad. $33 to dump all of that. Yeah, that's not bad. We, we had that whole 12-foot trailer filled with stuff, and 
I had stuff in the back of the bed filled too. I, we kept a couple things. I kept a couple little toys for Luna. I'm gonna clean them, of course. Make sure there's no bugs on them. I guess I could have donated the Christmas tree too, but yeah, roaches, we don't know, we don't know. Okay, done now. Look how beautiful. I don't know about you, but like just something special about like the little lines in the grass when you cut the grass. I, it must be like an up north thing here in Florida. It, it's kind of hard to get those lines. So kind of makes me proud that I was able to, oh, y'all up north have these crazy, they look like checkerboard designs in your grass. I don't know how the hell you do that. Maybe I'll watch a YouTube video on. In case you're wondering how long it takes to cut the grass here, if I don't have help and I'm doing it all on my own, it takes about six hours. If I have somebody here with me on the other tractor, it takes three hours, maybe three and a half hours, but closer to three hours. The nighttime footage, even though the way I showed it kind of looked like I was cutting grass into the night, I actually started at night and then finished during the day. I could, I've, I start at like six o'clock at night just because it gets a little cooler. It's not as hot out here at the Safe Haven Ranch. But once it starts getting dark, it's just, I don't know. You don't know what you're running over. What's going on, Primo? You getting attacked by Pimp? All right, he was getting attacked a second ago. But he got the water hose now, so Pimp is scared. Hi, Miss Piggy. It's a pretty... Oh, you got food all over you. What's up, Mona? How you doing? <laughs> you be wondering why my cow, Lily, is back there mooing. I think she has a boyfriend. So one of my neighbor's cows... Because, by the way, my neighbor back there, they own like hundreds and hundreds of acres of land. And they have, oh, I've seen probably about a thousand different cows back there. Well, yesterday, while I was cutting the grass, it was at nighttime, so I couldn't really pull out the camera and show you. But there was a bull, a young bull about the same size as Lily. And they were flirting from fence to fence. And she was excited. She was like running back and forth. Oh, look. Let me see if I can zoom in. Okay, so you could kind of see back there you could see a couple cows so maybe she's calling yeah see she's looking for him that's so funny lily you looking for your boyfriend <laughs> should i get my cows a bull i hear that bulls are a little temperamental and they could be unpredictable i wouldn't mind a steer steers are if you don't know what a steer is it's like the lingo i've learned this over the years a steer is a castrated bull you know one where he's been neutered if you know the dog terms it's, it's crazy because there's like different terms for each animal you got a steer you got a gelding i think that's what they call them with goats like male goats are called billies female goats are called nannies you have cows bulls yeah there's all kinds of lingo when it comes to like farm talk might be getting some new goats here at the safe haven ranch i think i want to stick to the nigerian dwarf goats because they're they're not very big. They stay kind of small and miniature. And one reason why it's good to probably stick with smaller goats, if you don't have a really big fence, which I don't, my fence is only four feet tall. The bigger goats, they can literally jump right over these fences and they're hard on them. They will destroy your fences, especially some of the billy goats. So that's why I kind of stick to the smaller goats. And I think that's probably what I'm gonna keep here. And they're great dairy goats. They are smaller, so they're gonna produce, of course, less milk. However, they're great milking goats. I mean, I've never milked them, but it's what I've heard from my research. Not only did I rescue a new doggy, but I also rescued a brand new baby goat. What you doing? She's so scared. Her name is Mary Poppins, and I was told that she was a pygmy goat, just like the other goats I have here at the Safe Haven Ranch. But I did not know that she was gonna be a baby. Found her at an apartment complex, and when I went to go see her, she was, you know, they gave her the best home they can give her for the time being. She was in someone's backyard in a residential neighborhood. So yeah, not the best situation for Mary Poppins. When I brought her to the Safe Haven Ranch, I quarantined her for about a week, and uh, she loved it. I mean, she just loved all the attention she was getting. She got to eat some hay. She got to interact with the other animals, the other goats. Now, till this day, the other goats don't really want much to do with her, but she does hang out with the llamas and the cows, and they seem to love her a lot. So what are you doing, Tiffany? We're gonna carve a pumpkin with chickens. 
carving a pumpkin with chickens. Yeah, but you gotta break it up just a little bit so they can smell what's on the inside. Okay. And then you're gonna leave it out here. And they're gonna tear it up. And then when we come back, we're gonna have a carved pumpkin. Cool, all right. So here's our happy pumpkin at the Safe Haven Ranch. We're gonna give it to the chickens, see how they like it. Let's do this. If y'all didn't know, pumpkin is a natural dewormer. Dewormer? Yeah. Hmm. All right. Where's that rooster at? Oh my God. All right, who's gonna be first? It's almost like, I'll take it. Come on guys, stop being shy. I think you need a better happy face. Oh, here we go. There we go, Cal. Look at them, taking charge. Okay, go. now they're kind of picking at it a little bit more. One just discovered that it tastes good. Yeah, they're really liking that. That's so funny, it's like the chickens are carving the pumpkin for you. Like, you just kind of want to do a little stencil of it and they'll do the work for you. Guess who else likes pumpkin? Mona likes pumpkin. Oh. And like Tiff said, it's a natural dewormer for animals. Yeah. Lily likes pumpkin too. <laughs> oh. What about Dixie? Dixie like pumpkins? I need to get it broken down a little better for her. Okay. okay baby. She likes it. She's a pregnant mama. So she's gonna like pumpkin. <laughs> Look at these guys. They're singing to us. Here, you want that one? Yeah, I'll put it right there. Oh, here you go. <laughs> He's giving the ducks showers here, and they love it. <laughs> yeah, le encanta. Oh, like, get me wet, daddy. That didn't sound right. Can't forget about our boy Hamlet. Yummy, yummy. So this is our unofficial horse that my neighbor owns, but he kind of gets along with the safe haven animals. He's a part of the safe haven ranch too. Hamlet, you need a little haircut. He loves pumpkin. So these guys can eat the seeds and everything. Only orange pumpkins, not all pumpkins are safe for horses though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're trying to dry these pumpkin seeds so we can plant them. And Mona keeps coming over and trying to eat them. She's like foaming at the mouth. I know, she's so hungry. She, she loved the pumpkin. All right, these guys just ate. Don't let them fool you. They're being kind of greedy because they're like the alpha males. I got this little friendly enclosure because goats get a little shy sometimes. And when you have them enclosed like this, you get a little bit more interaction out of them because they're not so so spooked out so you can kind of pet them and stuff see yeah usually if i have them outside of this they're they're not not as friendly someone's looking pregnant look maybe that's a food baby because she has ate a lot i mean they're always eating hi thelma you're a pretty girl you guys be nice to the little baby goat mary poppins okay this is mary poppins she's a cutie well i mean her belly's big too is that cool what Oh, you said it too? Is that quiet? <laughs> Mona, why does that taste so good? I know. They're just going to town on it. Like, wonder what that tastes like to them. I mean, like, does it taste like salad? Does it taste like nacho fries from Taco Bell? I'm gonna Google it. Have you ever, like, given something to your dog and you're like, yeah, let me try this out. They seem to like it. And you put it in your mouth, you give it a little taste test, and you're like, gross. I've done that with hay before. In fact, no, I'm not doing it today. I'm good. It tastes like when you put butter and salt on like a savory fruit, like to a human, that's how it tastes. That's how hay tastes to animals. Huh. Like that's the closest comparison that they can try to say for humans. What with butter? So, you know, when you put like butter and salt on something savory. Okay, like, so a, like a piece of toast. That's how it tastes to them. They're having toast with butter right now. I mean, I can see that. Like she's eating some Ritz crackers with butter. That sounds actually kind of good. Right? 
don't worry, Lily. I'm never going to eat you. I mean, unless I'm really starving. I'm just kidding. I'll eat the chickens first before I eat these guys. Even though this would be like a meal for a long time. Mona, you're looking so tasty. I know we all got to survive and stuff, but I'm sure there's people out there that look at their pets and they're feeding them and they're like, mm, you're going to taste so good this Thanksgiving day. You're going to taste so good, Mona. I can't wait to eat you. Yes, I'm going to make a ton of beef jerky out of you and feed it to Dak and Gracie. You know, um, my neighbor did tell me that they had like this mean bull or something and like they ate him. <laughs> Yo, know, Mona, I'm not gonna lie, when you were being kind of a jerk early on in your safe haven ranch career, I was thinking about eating you. <gasps> yeah, you weren't. Nah, I mean, we made kidding. little jokes about jerky tasting good, we, we, but... Yeah, we made jokes. I can't eat these guys. These guys are, these guys are my friends. They're, They're your families. friends, too. They're family. They are family. I'm gonna keep them till... You know what? When they die, we'll eat them. You know, like, if they die of... Mad cow disease. I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna kidding. So hey, that is what's been going on. I am sorry that I have not uploaded in the last month. I've been extremely, extremely busy. I pretty much moved from three different locations. I had a storage unit and I had two other homes that I was moving furniture from to our new home and I didn't really have much help. And then in this process, of course, I'm still trying to care for my animals. I'm still trying to edit and film videos and it's just, it's just been really hard. I haven't slept a whole lot. Please forgive me. I will be uploading a lot more videos soon, but I wanted to kind of just throw all this together. I know it was a long video today, but hopefully it made up for the lost time, if you will. Gotta go for now before we leave. Give me a kiss. Peace.